chickenpox. Chickenpox is an infection that causes an itchy, blister-like skin rash. A virus called varicella zoster causes it. Chickenpox is highly contagious, but it's much less common today because there's a vaccine that protects you from it. Children are the most susceptible to getting chickenpox, although you can get it as an adult, too. Once you've had chickenpox, you won't catch it again from another person. If you're not vaccinated, you can get chickenpox at any age. Adults who get chickenpox may become very sick, so it's better to have chickenpox when you're a child or prevent getting it by receiving the vaccine. What are the three stages of chickenpox? The three stages of chickenpox usually refer to the way the rash looks. One, stage one is a red and bumpy rash. It can last a few days. Two, stage two is a fluid-filled blistered rash. The blisters break open after about one to two days. Three, stage three is when the blisters scab over this stage also lasts a few days. Even though the rash goes through three stages, you could have all types of bumps at the same time. This means some bumps can be forming while others are already breaking open. The entire rash can last up to about 10 days. Where does chicken pox usually start? You usually start getting chicken pox on your face and trunk. From there, it spreads to the rest of your body all the way to your fingers and toes. What age will you get chicken pox? Now that there's a vaccine to prevent chicken pox, most children don't get chicken pox. But in those who aren't vaccinated, it's more common to get it between the ages of three and six. Why is chicken pox rare now? Chicken pox isn't as common as it once was, because the chickenpox vaccine has greatly reduced the number of cases, symptoms, and causes. Chickenpox symptoms are easy to see. Healthcare providers often can look at your child's skin and know if they have chickenpox. Symptoms of chickenpox usually happen in the following order. 1. Low-grade fever. 2. Feeling tired. 3. Headache for a stomach ache that makes you not want to eat. Five, a skin rash that's very itchy and looks like many small blisters. Six, bumps filled with a liquid that looks like milky water. Seven, scabs after the blisters break. Eight, skin that looks blotchy. Nine, crusty spots that fade away. Children who've been vaccinated against chickenpox are usually protected against getting chickenpox. But the vaccine isn't 100% effective, and some children will have a breakthrough infection despite being vaccinated. The good news is that these breakthrough infections are usually very mild. What causes chickenpox? A virus causes chickenpox. Virus is spread when a person with the virus gives it to another person, either through bodily fluid or bodily contact. How does chickenpox spread? Children can get chickenpox at any age. After exposure to chickenpox, your child may appear to be fine for one to three weeks before feeling sick. Children can spread the virus from one to two days before they show any signs of illness until all the blisters have crusted over or scabbed. Chicken pox spreads by. 1. Coming in contact with someone who has chicken pox. 2. Breathing air from an infected person who sneezes or coughs. 3. Coming in contact with fluids from an infected child's eyes, nose, or mouth who is at risk for chicken pox. You're at risk for getting chicken pox if you didn't receive the vaccine and haven't ever had it. Your risk is even higher if you're around children or work in a school or daycare facility. What complications are possible with chicken pox? Complications from chicken pox are unlikely, but possible. They may include mutton, 
bacterial infections of your skin, blood, and soft tissues. 2. Encephalitis or Ray syndrome. 3. Pneumonia. 4. Dehydration. 5. Issues with how your blood clots. 6. Liver problems. Even when chickenpox was prevalent, healthy children generally had mild cases of chickenpox. <laughs> but chickenpox can cause more serious symptoms in adults over 18. Who is more likely to have complications from chickenpox? Healthy children who get chickenpox don't usually have serious complications. However, having a severe case of chickenpox could be more dangerous for 1. Babies whose mother didn't have chickenpox or the vaccine. 2. Pregnant women who didn't have chickenpox. 3. Anyone over 18. 4. People with immune system disorders. 5. People with cancer or HIV. 6. People undergoing chemotherapy. 7. People who had an organ transplant. Can chickenpox be fatal? It's very unlikely that you'll die from chickenpox. Most people recover without complications. Diagnosis and tests. Signs of chickenpox are easy to see. Healthcare providers often can look at your child's skin and know if they have chickenpox. It's management and treatment. Make sure your child gets plenty of rest and fluids. Chickenpox will go away on its own in a week or two. To help your child feel less itchy, you can 1. Press a cool, moist rag on the rash. 2. Keep your child cool. 3. Encourage your child not to scratch. Trim their fingernails so they can't scratch. 4. Put a lotion with antihistamines on the rash. 5. Give your child an antihistamine. Diphenhydramine and cetirizine are two examples of antihistamines. 6. Give your child a cool bath or shower every day. You can also give your child an oatmeal bath. When you're drying them off, don't rub them with the towel. Instead, pat your child dry. 7. Give your child plenty of water and fluids to prevent dehydration. A soft, bland diet can help if they have blisters in their mouth. Don't give your child aspirin. Aspirin can harm children who have fevers. If your child needs a pain reliever, use acetaminophen. If you're not sure what product to use, ask your child's health care provider. What if my baby gets chicken pox? If your baby up to age three months gets chicken pox, let your child's health care provider know right away. Chicken pox is more dangerous to newborns than to other healthy people. What is the treatment for adults with chicken pox? The treatment for adults is the same as for children, but your health care provider may recommend an antiviral medication. Adults who are at risk for severe symptoms or who have certain medical conditions may benefit from antiviral drugs. How long is chickenpox contagious? Ch chickenpox is contagious until all bumps on your body are scabs. If you have any fluid-filled blisters that haven't broken or scabbed over, you're still able to spread the virus. How many days does it take to recover from chickenpox? Chickenpox usually goes away after 10 to 14 days. Can adults get chickenpox if they had it as a child? When children get chickenpox, their bodies fight the illness by making a substance called antibodies. The antibodies fight the virus and help their body get well. And these antibodies stay in your body throughout your life. So, if you come in contact with the virus as an adult, the antibodies are there to fight the virus off. Can you get chickenpox twice? It's rare for anyone to get chicken pox twice, but it can happen. What is the oldest you can be to get chicken pox? There really isn't an age limit to when you can still get chicken pox. Adults who didn't have chicken pox as a child and who haven't had a vaccine can still get chicken pox in their 80s or 90s. When can my child go back to school after chicken pox?
Your child can go back to school about 7 to 10 days after the rash appears. You don't need to wait for the scabs to go away completely, but you do need to wait until all the blisters have scabbed over. You're contagious while the blisters have fluid. Prevention. Yes, there's a vaccine for chickenpox. Your child's pediatrician will give it in two doses. When your child is under the age of 13, they should get one dose between ages 12 months and 15 months. The second dose happens between the ages of 4 and 6. Most children receive the chickenpox vaccine as a combination vaccine that also protects against measles, mumps, and rubella. Adults who haven't had chickenpox should also get the vaccine. If you're 13 or older and never got the vaccine, you should get two doses at least 28 days apart. Who shouldn't get the chickenpox vaccine? There are people who shouldn't get the chickenpox vaccine. You shouldn't get the chickenpox vaccine if you 1. Are allergic to the vaccine or to any part of the vaccine. 2. Are pregnant or think you might be pregnant. 3. Have problems with your immune system. 4. Have tuberculosis. 5 aren't feeling well. 6. Recently had a blood transfusion or any other live attenuated vaccines. When should you call your health care provider if your child has chicken pox? Call your health care provider if your child has any of the following symptoms. 1. Severe headache or fever that doesn't go away. 2. Sores in their eyes. 3. Sores that get bigger or have yellow pus in them. 4. Difficulty breathing or breathing very fast. 5. Stiff neck or muscle joint stiffness. 6. Has trouble waking up? When should adults with chicken pox seek medical care? Chicken pox can be more serious in adults. You should contact a health care provider right away if you believe you have chicken pox, especially if you or someone in your house is pregnant, or if you live with someone who has a suppressed immune system. By Joshi Joseph. Thank you.